Hello, everybody, and Yo, welcome. Oh, what's good? Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, welcome to the False Prophets podcast with the most awkward intro known to man. Uh, that is what we're here for. We don't prepare before the video, all right? We just kind of uh, wing it and uh, hope that this doesn't look terrible later. He said we're going to cut this out. We will not. Yeah. We will not. Uh, yeah. No so, <laughs> yeah, it's nothing but authenticity in this bitch. So shout out to the uh, False Prophets podcast. This is the podcast where we talk about big things and have nothing to back it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, we, we try to make things funny. We try to be serious at times, too. Just know that we can lead you, uh, but we might not lead you anywhere good. So how's everybody doing? Good? Good, man. How you feeling? I'm all right, bro. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm going to, like, settle down a little bit. You know, I feel like. I was uh, pulled a little far away. I'm, I'm doing okay, man. Just got off of fucking work. You know how that is. Uh, how about you guys? How you feeling? Um, I'm good. Uh, by the way, um, I'm going to introduce myself again. My name is Manny Perez. Yeah. I was in the other video, part of the False Prophets podcast. And we, over here we have... Uh, Ethan, over here. Phil, thanks for the introduction. Oh, you're very, very welcome. Appreciate you. Uh, Ethan make McFall. sure you guys give, you know, say your Tinder bios uh, while you're on the microphone. You know what I'm, I mean? <laughs> Let everybody really know who you are. Yeah, you know? I'm a completely spoken for man <laughs> who is a girl <laughs> whose girl <laughs> whose girlfriend was asked to do this podcast before me and is still kind of bitter about it. That is true. I, I yeah, <laughs> I uh, you know, I did ask his girlfriend to do that, and uh, I kind of hoped she would be here today. Yeah, uh, to fill in. But, you know, <laughs> we still got Ethan. She wants to come on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So we'll have her on. We'll have you her have on. to. I mean, also, t- you were saying, you know, looks like, uh, you know, you have a girlfriend or whatever, but it makes sense. You got the you got the streak in your hair. You like it? Yeah, yeah. Dude. But that's like a, I've been around a lady for a long time. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I her, you know? Yeah. You got to let them decorate up. you, man. My, yeah. to- my toenails are painted right now. That's great. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. Some people, yeah, you know, a lot of people, they see that stuff and they think, it's a man confident in his masculinity, but uh, really it's just a man slowly being emasculated over and over again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> By a hilarious woman. Dude, before I went to Jamaica, that was the first thing. My girl was just like, let's get manis and petties. <laughs> My toes are shining and glistening right you now. Go. You should be proud of that shit. Yeah. You actually look great. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. Great. I look good. I love it. Some men are so, fr- like, their masculinity is so fragile. They'll go to the petty ap- appointment. They'll go into the salon and sit in a chair and not do it. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, you, that dude, Dude is like so insecure. That's Even true. he's like a grizzled guy with like. It's like yo, your feet are nasty. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like you're just like it's like twenty bucks, and it's like you're not gonna do this because you like you work a nine to five or so you have like some weird <laughs> jaded hard view. toes. No man, get your toes. You know? I've been talking to dudes about it. I wear I'm with my toes out in the summer, and that's a yeah. problem in New York. People say a lot. Well, it's 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 feminine, but you know, yeah. I, I, you know, also my family comes from the islands though, so they do that type of shit. Most of the people, most of my cousins used to walk around barefoot. All the time, like I'm saying, all the time. That was me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just trying to get calluses on my feet, like I was just running around barefoot all the time. (laughs) It's true, like, like I'm full of like, you know, I have callus on my feet. Let me tell you why, because like. I'm Dominican, you know what I mean? So it's the same thing. We island boys. You know, yeah. like going to DR, like island and boy. even in the country, like you're just <laughs> island boy. But like, you know, you're walking around barefoot on rocks and fucking looking like like a caveman or some shit like that. And then it's like the older you get, and I'm like, damn, my feet are fucking ugly. And then I just you know, the first time I did it, I was kinda scared. And I sit down and this little girl comes in. She was like, He's getting his toes done. That's gay. And then I just like have my. <laughs> 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 oh, just, but then after that, I'm just like, man, fuck that. Like, you know, like, I like to like treat myself good, man. It's like, you got to clean up nice every yeah. once in a while. And I understand that. I mean, listen, even though that little girl was right, you have a right to be <laughs> gay. You have a right to be a gay man. And I love myself. There you go. I have to test the proof. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, guys, like uh, you know, this we're happy to have you guys here yeah, for checking man. it out. This is gonna be a good salute, time. Salute. Uh, we got a lot of things to talk about. You probably saw in the title. Uh, this uh, this today's episode, today's starting topic, is about a uh, Virginia mother, uh, who's the who's the mother of a biracial son, who is now suing a uh, Virginia school yeah. uh, for teaching her child critical race theory because apparently uh, he does not want to do chores anymore uh, with, <laughs> with, with, with things because he thinks it's slavery. Basically. He disobeys his curfew. And the boy yeah, <laughs> disobeys his curfew and when things go bad, he blames it on racism. And, uh, and this is her quote, not mine. He now uh, feels strength in numbers, which is the most 
Nazi rhetoric a way a white woman can say that her black son uh, feels more comfortable around black people. I've never heard something so fucking. He yeah. feels strengthened. The look of fear on this woman's face. Yeah. You know. I also will say. Uh, I you know. You know. In this woman, yeah, she is a little crazy. Yeah, she's a, you know kind of a dipshit. But let's just have a hand for you know uh, feminism as a whole. You know what I mean? Because. There's been a lot of idiot men for a very, very long time. You know what I mean? I, you know, uh, you know, there's been a lot of dumb people all over the internet. But it proves that you know women can also do stupid things. You know, there was Florida man, yeah. you know, and now we have Virginia mom. You know, and it's it's good to see her go through that glass ceiling. Yeah. You know, and really become the uh, idiot that all good Americans know that she could be. You know. Yeah. So what do you what do you guys think about this? What do you guys um, think about this thing? So like. You like it's fucked up, like the shit that she said. It's kind of the mic out. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just a little awkward. You guys, it's just like I'm holding his dick. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Ah. Well, he did get a mani pedi. So. Yeah. So, like I was saying, not, nah, but um, yeah, that she that bitch is crazy. Basically, she's just crazy. Like you're trying to take away this child's like, like heritage away from him. You know, like like he he probably hasn't even tapped into like. You know, being a black kid because he was always around his mom. Mind you, daddy ain't around, so who knows where yeah. the father is, and who knows if like this was a mistake. And she's like, "Yo, fuck that! I don't want to like raise my kid with a, you know a black man or some shit like yeah, that." Yeah. And then she just moves on and shit, and then just try to tries to raise a child just straight white. Now that he's figuring out who he is, why not enjoy both you know sides of the spectrum? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he was just only on one side throughout his whole entire life. Exactly. Now he just wants to explore. So that. that's it. You know, he wants to listen to Tupac. Why not? Mom, yeah. just you know, Led Zeppelin's enough. <laughs> enough <laughs> fucking Avenged Sevenfold and fucking Sum Forty One. You know, he's lived through that. I think that's good. We all love that shit. I you know I've I have, there's a couple good songs, but you know exactly Green Day's the shit. But you know, let him listen to a little Tupac. Yeah. I think he'll do okay. Let him to listen to a little Young Thug. Sure, he's being indicted right now. But you know, the nigga's going through things. All right, Ethan, uh, as a residential uh, white guy, what? Did, how do you? Feel? <laughs> 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 I'm white. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, on her behalf, um, <laughs> like, let me defend her. <laughs> <laughs> let me try to take this on. Yes, please, 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 please. No. Uh, did you notice it was in Charlottesville? I did not know. It that. was in. It's in Charlottesville, oh where the tiki torches were. That's great. That, it so you know she fucked some of those guys too. So she was conflicted. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, they're yeah. like, you see what they're teaching in these schools, yeah. though. And she's like, I know. <laughs> you know. You know what's even sadder though is it's like I didn't know it was in Charlottesville. It's like if it was in Charlottesville, then how hard was this woman trying to keep that her son was black from him? Oh my God! It like, gets it gets crazy. Like, dude, they walk down there. I've been to Charlottesville. It's a decent town, but it's like they back in that when that whole shit happened. It's like you had people walking down the street with fucking tiki torches. It's like, what is he wearing earplugs? She fucking put a blindfold on him. Yo, he didn't know that they were shouting at him. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, who killed his dad? Yeah, yeah. I want to know who killed his dad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is some like this is some fucking uh, was it Clayton Bigsby from like I was Dave gonna Chappelle add yeah type shit where he's like she's just trying to tell him like no you're not black you just have a skin condition you know <laughs> yeah. oh, some boondock shit you got the opposite of what Michael Jackson's got <laughs> and baby you are a good country boy man that's that's crazy man but like like on a serious note like how do you think this is really gonna affect the child when looking at his mom you know has mom sides of the family like what do you think. Is going to happen in his mind because it's like ignoring it is just gonna like make it a bigger problem. You know well, what I mean? Well, I think now it's gonna go better because you got to think about like how hard it must have been for him to like be different the whole time. Yeah, and kind of like uh, you know not have that acknowledged. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure you know it's every once in a while he's a young kid. You know he's like eighth grade, so he's probably about fourteen. You know, every time he probably like cooked and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, he probably had questions like, "Mom, how come I know how to season food and you don't?" <laughs> you know, like, who am I? Who am I? Like, you know, being a biracial kid who doesn't know he's biracial is almost like being a kid who starts to get superpowers. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mama, why am I faster than all the other boys? <laughs> you know, he's like, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> I feel bad for the kids. Dude, yeah, hopefully like, things work out. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's probably getting erections just like tasting collard greens for yeah. the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know he's what like, I mean? Mama, how come my what the fuck? 10 inches long. How come 
<laughs> my dick is bigger than Uncle John's. Like, why, Mom? <laughs> she, she had a fast food face. Yeah, yeah she, she eats fast food a lot. She was bringing home shit. And when she did cook, it was trash. By herself, too. That woman. Yeah. Oh, atrocious man. cooking, man. That Terrible. poor kid. That poor kid. That poor kid. Nobody, everybody talks about the CRT. Nobody ever talks about the meals he was getting at home. <laughs> That's what no. they need to teach. That's what they need to teach. Yes. CRT needs to be like, all right, and here's how they cook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and here's what we've missed out on for years because of oppression. Fuck CRT. Just teach white people how to season food. Everything will be fine. That brings the world together. <laughs> season food. That's CRT, fuck. field trip, we're going to the cookout tonight, guys. All right? <laughs> he doesn't even know what a cookout is. Yeah. He's gonna start, he's gonna experience his first cookout. That's crazy, man. Yeah, it's, maybe I had to have like a translator. Yeah, you know, what I mean? you, you like, know it's it's so funny. They go to a, cookie, they go to a barbecue, <laughs> and, they're like, and they're like signing to him cookout. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, but it's funny because like we were talking about this the last episode, you know, with uh the um Atlanta. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, title exactly. what was it? Rich Wigger, poor Wigger. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we so really wanted to get it's into. it's excellent. You guys should really check it out. Like Atlanta's an amazing show, but it's just like this this last episode is like really symbolic with a lot of things. Really and um, basically the character, he's a biracial person, but he looks more like white. He's like very, white. very, he very has white. Like the quaff of the hair. Yeah, you know what I mean. And honestly. I think the reason they chose to make it black and white was so it was even harder to see how black he was. Yeah. Because the only way you can tell, he looks like white kid except for his, like, nose. Except for the end. Yeah. Yeah, except <laughs> for the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> but also... He was brushing his hair. <laughs> Yo, that yeah, shit was... That stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his girlfriend's reaction to it is... <laughs> this is so real. Dude, man. But, but yeah, nah, I think like you couldn't really tell like, you know, how, how dark he was. Even his dad makes fun of his nose. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> that like, nose. White friends don't know about her nose. <laughs> you know, and all that shit. Oh, man. But it's, but it's real. Like, and we were talking about how, yes, uh, I or I was saying at least that like, yes, I think they made the main character biracial. And I think it was also meant to reach out to uh, biracial people. But uh, also, I think it was meant to reach out to people who might see themselves as, and this is might be a new term, like as like culturally biracial. Yeah. Like me and Manny were kind of talking about this. Where it's yeah. like, I was raised around nothing but white people, practically. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, like my town, it's a massive fucking town. There's like, there's like three blocks of black people on one side and then three <laughs> blocks of black people on another side. Right. Fuck, there is even a, uh, a pool club like where rich like people can go and like swim oh, in the okay. pool. Yeah, yeah. There was even like a pool where uh, that was in the black section of town that black people weren't allowed into. <laughs> oh, but black, black, black people yeah, can't yeah, swim. Yeah. That's what's so funny when people <laughs> call, call like the South racist and it's like, <laughs> as compared to what? But go back you to know, what you I, said. I came from a fucking town. Black people weren't allowed in the pool, right? Yeah, they weren't allowed in the pool. But they can't swim. Yeah, but they can, <laughs> they can stand <laughs> in the water. Oh, <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can fucking get into my neighborhood and swim. Yeah. How are there not fights every day at that pool? How are there not fights every day at that pool? Oh, it was fucking insane. They wouldn't, they I wouldn't would... let anybody get their membership, nothing. Like I'm I'm still I'm still heated at this thing you're thinking that black people cry when they get touched by water. I think it goes in the slip and slide and starts to weep. No. No. <laughs> no, but but it was it was crazy. And that's the whole thing. It's like you have that type of shit. And it was a pretty like middle class to upper middle class town and shit. And we had like neighboring towns that weren't so good. So you had like certain black kids. We're all in high school too. So everybody has some dumb identity that's not really real that they cling to. So, you know, half the black kids are like, yo, I'm a blood. And it's like, bro, your fucking mom got you SAT prep. Like, like, like <laughs> why does education make you not a gang member? Yeah. Why does like, because you gotta be dude, you got a decent fuck. life. You can't be in a gang. Yeah. <laughs> you, be, you have to be poor. Because you got to be dumb as fuck into enter an organization that says, we let you in if we beat the shit out of you. Okay. <laughs> that I understand. You, yeah. you kind of have, have to be. I'm not saying, I mean, listen, you can be a smart person as there's tons of brilliant people in jail, you know, because they were caught in the wrong circumstances. But yeah. it's the fucking truth. It's like, bro, this dude, you have a Tamagotchi keychain, nigga. You are not a blood. Okay. <laughs> your eggs are hatched. Yeah, you're <laughs> 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 Your eggs are hatched. Go feed the nigga. That's it. Go feed that motherfucker. <laughs> 
No, no, nah, but they are talking to me. I love those shits, by the way. No, but it's it's true, man. Because going back to like what we were talking about in the car, it's like, you know, we all like I think people of color, especially like we go all go through an identity crisis all the time because, yeah. again, like when when I first came here to the states, like you know we were in Bushwick, my mom and I and my my sister, you know, as a kid. So like from year one through five, all I saw were like. Latinos yeah, And yeah. the only dark skinned Latinos That I knew My mom She's a dark skinned woman You know my family And everything So then when I moved To bed at five mm-hmm. And I seen English speaking black people I'm like yeah, What the know. fuck is going on <laughs> But I'm five years old You know And my mom Like she had a friend and everything who was Panamanian, but he spoke yeah. English and Spanish. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I get it. He learned, you know, through Sesame Street, like me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then it's just like you start going through shit and you start realizing, like, damn, like, yo, culture is beautiful. Like, you know, like my whole entire life, that was like, I was in Bed Stuy, you know, and I, and I just knew what black culture was. I knew what Latino culture was, the unity behind it, hip hop, and all of that other stuff. Yeah. So it's like what this kid is going through. Is what I feel like I went through, yeah. you know, you know, from five and on and shit yeah. like that. <clears throat> I, well, I think what's crazy about it is like I think, and this has changed a lot too. But I think let me put out that disclaimer because I think black people, Hispanic people, all different types of people are allowed to like whatever they kind of like now. But like for a long time, if you didn't subscribe to a certain cultural thing mm-hmm. that your race was, people would tell you that you were not that race. Yeah, and everybody's had that. And, you know, there's like. I mean, shit, even white people have that. I mean, the title was called Rich Wigger, Poor Wigger. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's it's exponentially higher when you're a minority, and especially for black people because we've been through much, so much shit that, you know, we feel like we have to all be some way, and if another nigga is not like that way, then, like, he's abandoning us on our, like, journey of whatever and our struggle. So, you know... Watching that shit with Kevin Samuels where they had the fucking tribunal. Yeah, the tribunal. <laughs> the what the tribunal. Fuck? Bro, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> and dude, seeing all those like Indian dudes doing like the doo-wop and shit on the stairs. I was like, bro, that shit is hilarious. <laughs> and it's true. It in. But it, uh, sorry, I, I just got to finish. I just I feel like it's true, though, where they were like, oh, like they're having people who are culturally black. Not in there, like, can you believe they? we almost thought that they were going to have people that were just regular black? And that's true yeah. because you'll meet some people, right, where they may be white. They, As a black person, I'm saying this. You may be white. You may be Hispanic. You may be Asian or whatever, right? But if you're more culturally black, like, you listen to only this and talk just like that, like, sometimes yeah. you will get treated as if you are lesser than them. Yeah. And, like, and like they'll, like... I don't know. People get like grimy, like both sides. Like black people get grimy to you, and that one dude yeah. gets grimy to you because he's like now not afraid of you. Yeah, you know what I mean. So he now wants to like press you, and then you gotta check somebody. Fuck you know, it's you. crazy because you know, <laughs> you know? And, and, and which I don't like, but in know. Latino Hispanic Except culture, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes yeah exactly. No, but, uh, but. I can ask you guys. I hear a lot of them because you. I just listen to so like much stand up that mm-hmm. uh, I hear that Spanish people who don't speak Spanish is like the ultimate I shame. I, I, so, yeah, I so basically, yeah. Before this, uh, you know, white man took the mic. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking shit from us. Hey, no, hey, okay. no, but hey, bro, listen. <laughs> No, Ethan, e- Ethan's light skin. <laughs> Ethan's light skin. All right, all right. <laughs> Shit, he has melanin. Yeah, <laughs> no, but brother, that's what I was trying to say because it's like in, in Latino and Hispanic culture, one thing is like, oh, you don't speak Spanish, you're not really Latino. Oh, like me, one time I remember. Uh, like somebody told me they was like, "Yo, man, so what's your favorite baseball team?" I'm like, "I'm not related to baseball." Oh, you're not Dominican? Yeah. The fuck? Just because like I don't play baseball, you know what I mean? I loved baseball before, but I'm a basketball dude. Why? Because look what you know. I was raised more around you know like like black culture and black people. Yeah, not saying yeah. that Latinos don't watch that, but the majority of us watch soccer, baseball, a yeah. little bit of basketball. They dabble in everything, but then it's just like, you know, just because I don't do certain things that the Latino and Hispanic culture d- do. What the fuck? Like, why the hell are you like treating me like shit? What you know, like well, again, because you was you know you were born in the suburbs. Yeah. Oh, just because you're not from the hood, you're not really black. Yeah, yeah I'm not really black. You something. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. One of my friends really. I have a black friend. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is crazy. My family's yeah, Jamaican yeah, yeah. too. So like, it actually felt like when I saw that kid with the flamethrower and he was like, "You're Nigerian," and then he's like, "You're not really black." And he's like, "What do you mean? Like, you have a home you can go to, bro?" I felt that in my heart because that is kind of what it is like, where it's like, you know, but no matter what. I'm black because I'm dark, dark as fuck, and the rest of these white people don't really care, so it doesn't matter. But there's that weird division. There's that weird division. That shit is real. So mm. oppressed people, when they're like, 
when when a group is depressed, uh, oppressed or whatever, they want to divide themselves more. Like people already like dividing themselves, yeah. period. But when there's pressure or they feel societal pressure from just other shit, like yeah. they're ready to kick you out for anything because they're afraid. You know what I mean? Can I add something? Um, yeah. You know, and I, I want to add something. Like, and this is I have a white friend. Well, I had. Well, I got a, <laughs> <laughs> like a one of movie. many. Yeah, my my best friend's white. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, but I, what I'm trying to say is like I was. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> well, he told me like me <laughs> y'all do like chicken. Let me <laughs> nah, nah. But it's crazy because like my white friend Smitty. You have Smitty. Todrick, my white friend. Yeah, nah, but I, you know, one, one of uh, uh, the dudes that I know and everything, like he told me straight up, he was like, he's southern, and he's viewed differently, and like, you know, like like let's say like a white person that's rich, like they would treat him like shit, yeah, because yeah. they're like, you didn't make it, you didn't, you know, you didn't go with the program, so then like you usually have like these southerners, you know, that come from like he was from actually from Marks Corner also, yeah, yeah. surprisingly, and I was just like, oh shit, you know, Charlemagne is from there and everything, like that's the only reason I know that place, but like he said it straight up, he was like, yeah, um, like when he was around other people, like other whites that actually were established and shit, yeah, like he was treated like shit. And that makes that you makes know? total sense, but you know, I think when you're uh, when you're done hanging niggas, you gotta eat something. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hole has to be filled. There is a power <laughs> vacuum. <laughs> That's all good. He, he's you, fine. You gotta be rude to this guy who's taking your daughter to prom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it don't really matter what he was, but you just gotta do something. Don't worry about ten fifty nine, boy. <laughs> 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 I'm Hawaiian. It doesn't matter. You got a lot of melanin on you. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You smell like trouble, boy. <laughs> oh man. That's excellent. That's excellent. But it, it's he slips you some drugs. You don't know if he's like giving you that for his daughter or to actually fuck you up. You're like, yeah, right. should I take it? Yeah. Was that nice or evil? Does what he want me to it? die? Yeah. Right. Or does he want me to do Molly with his daughter? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Both are terrible. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Both are a both are a nightmare scenario. Oh, dude, when you get older, you start realizing that the cool parent was a fucking nightmare. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're just like yeah. that was so lit. You're like that's the first time I fingered a girl, but you know what? I shouldn't have been drinking with a fifty year old. <laughs> <laughs> I was fifteen. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. What is this? I hope my marriage is never like that. <laughs> You know, it's funny, like, you know, talking about that, I, I I was talking to my boys, and I'm like, man, like, I want a son, but I don't want him to do the shit that I did. Yeah. I didn't finger, you know, like, young person, but I'm trying to say, it's just in, like, like that thug culture, but yeah. then also it's like, I don't want a daughter, because then I don't want her to get fingered by someone, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's kind of weird, like, yeah. it's just like, I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck, just thinking about kids, like. I think getting older, though, you just yeah. gotta come to peace with the fact that. Uh, if you have a daughter, she is possibly gonna get yeah, fingered on a ping pong table. You know what I mean? Yeah, you would help. Right. She's gonna give head to somebody she shouldn't give head to. Yeah. You know what I mean? But these are not things you should concern yourself with, man. Yeah, it's not. What no, are you, you Ti? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> yo, there's a tattoo of Ti like in between her, his daughter's thighs. They're like, that, no. That, they call me Inspector Hyman. <laughs> How do you guys feel like, about that though? Monocle. <laughs> Yo, I used to trap. I've searched these before. <laughs> you got the double brim hat like Sherlock Holmes. That's why I hit the stash. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, your pussy look a little. Uh, right. pussy looks astronomical. <laughs> <laughs> He's her OBGYN. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, man. Uh, <laughs> my dad's my gynecologist. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Um, did you guys? Oh, no, no, I yeah, just, that whole gynecologist shit, man. I just saw a doc on Netflix, Our Father. Have oh, you seen yeah, that? Yeah, we were talking about that. That that's is going, sick. Like, that's crazy. Like, I, fact, let's talk about the next pod, but that shit. And anyone who hasn't watched it, it, fucking watch it. I want to go deep into it next week. Just watch Our Father on Netflix. Just fucking write on the comments or something. Tell me what you think. Well, all right, we can we can also to uh, let's let's just drop a little bit of it because I, I think I found this weird point of it because I haven't seen the documentary, but I do know the story because that like you said it's happened with other people and like you were telling me it all happened from uh, fascism. Yeah. Like these guys are basically like closet like fascists yeah. and stuff like that, and they're basically Nazis. So what they do is they find like a blonde haired, blue eyed woman and they put their sperm and trick these people 
into having a blonde haired blue eyed baby because they want to restore uh, the the Aryan race. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, which is nuts. But it's also, dude, it's like you got to realize, like, listen, if people wanted an Aryan race, you would you would get one. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, like, there's not, apparently there's plenty of blonde haired, you know, blue eyed women that aren't taking your dick. So, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, maybe that yeah. shit. They is aren't fucking as Aaron. much as you would like them to be. Yeah, exactly. Maybe it's just a fool's These Aaron, bitches bro. ain't out here, like, <laughs> my. <laughs> <laughs> people, these hoes ain't taking that dude. Yo, these hoes ain't taking that. As far as uh, they ain't taking the We have calculated that the women in the streets, all right, the ladies who are out here, <laughs> and they ain't fucking the sex you, positive dog. women. They're fucking. They are not blonde hair and blue eyed. Yeah, all right, exactly. they are. Yeah, yeah. They prefer tea. Yeah, you would not yeah. believe it. <laughs> they're fucking black dudes, Hispanic fucking, dudes, and really, really old would, men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they're getting old dick all the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? That what? is the only way. <laughs> Flying out to like Dubai to get shitted on and shit after like a sex session. And listen, he's disgusting. Even if they don't fuck you, just be happy that if they have a biracial son, they're gonna indoctrinate him with the same white bullshit. This is what we're getting from Virginia mom. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Virginia mom is the white hoe. You see, you see how we just go back? <laughs> it's just a circle. Virginia mom is a hoe. hoe. That's what I feel. One more time. Virginia, Virginia mom, mom is the white hoe. Is the white hoe. She's also, she's also <laughs> yeah. the new Florida man. Do you think now that he's got like pretty good public opinion on his side, he's like, shut the fuck. Like he's yeah. got, oh yeah, he's got all the power. Bro, the shade room. Yo, she's getting roasted. You know what he's I mean? Gonna, he's like gonna she's gonna shit on her for her, the rest of his life. Don't go on the news if you're ugly. That's yeah. what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like he's gonna be like, mom, Charlemagne shitting on you. She's gonna be like, who is that? A who king? is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the French Charlie? guy, right? But yeah. then he passed away. Huh. I have royalty shouting at me. What is this? <laughs> oh, Just how confused she is yeah, like, by what's happening to her. It's like, mom, you're getting destroyed on the internet. She's like, who are these people? <laughs> Ah, but just imagine his first prom date when he brings her over, man. Oh yeah, well I heard you know whoever he's dating, which I'm assuming will probably be. Yeah, great. You uh, think so? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, he's probably gonna date like a black girl. I mean, maybe because he has to. Yeah, but he has to shit on his mom. But you gotta realize, like, CRT. If his mom was <laughs> able to trick him, into yeah, being like, that's thinking, why. Like, I don't even know what. But think about that. Like, he doesn't even know. Rely what on the school to be taught that shit. Because what if your parent denies you that knowledge at home? You would grow up insane, like an episode of Atlanta when that kid gets adopted by those lesbians. <laughs> yes. Yo, yo, story also no, that's crazy. as soon as that's I saw this story, story that made me think of that. I'm like, yeah, yeah. of course it's a true story. That's yes. a, that's like real nightmares, bro. real nightmares. Bro. It's like, what the, the fuck? They don't understand anything. Dude, like, the, dark, the dark part of that story, though, was that he's the only one that survived. Really? He's the only one that survived. His siblings, his adopted siblings, they died. Yeah, in the river in the crash yeah. so they kind of lightened it up in Atlanta which you yeah, know you gotta yeah. respect you know you don't wanna but nah, the, it's, nah. it's some fucked up shit yeah, man. but like no the reason that I say that like you know he's gonna tap into his black side now which yeah, is amazing yeah. and he's gonna feel a certain type of way because if his mother was actually like keeping this shit away from him it's just like dog yeah. like how why would you do this because it's it's like now like now being black I want like weed or something dude like, imagine like, well, yeah. awful. Leader, you know what I mean yeah yeah not out of some this real you might have made a real one like this nigga's gonna become the black Sean King <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's the same shit with the superpowers. His whole life, he's been yeah, out. His yeah. mom, he's like, "Why are you hard? Like, why do you get around so bad?" And he's like, just like easily getting around her. And he's like, "What the fuck was my dad a superhero? Why the fuck did he die?" Oh yeah, I live in Charlottesville. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, our house burned down. Oh, that's awfully suspicious. Oh, the clan lives here. Oh fuck. God damn. And then uh, that's his origin story for comic book series. Yeah right. Yeah, hell yeah. Virgin. <laughs> He's like, I knew I was part black when I kept breaking my mom's ankles every time he was on the court. She was crying. Yo, this woman could not guard me. <laughs> yeah. This 45-year-old white was... woman could not guard me, dog. Bro, you should see her try to black. put a pacifier in my mouth. I was like, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this shit falls. <laughs> I my mom's ankle four times. At two years old. He was five feet. <laughs> Why didn't they question that? <laughs> you can't parent me like you can't guard me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't
can't be my mom. Bro, it'd be like the old Gatorade commercial with uh, Michael Jordan and Mia Hamm. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's oh, like, anything man, you can do, I can do better. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This bitch just beat It's going to be the one with Matumbo and shit. <laughs> he goes, he dunks, no, no, no. <laughs> But yeah, dude, that shit is that shit is so fucking wild. And then yeah, bro, like yeah, that racial identity shit is wild. But you know, that's why I really love the ending of that shit because that's very true too. Like for me, growing up with you know very suburban and all that shit. I mean, I still like all of that stuff. I still do. But as I got older, you start to like break away from whatever your probably resentment was of like other people, like you know, people being like, "Oh, you're not really Dominican." As you get older, you drop that resentment. And you just start embracing all of it. Yeah. And that's what that kid did with the brush. <laughs> yeah, is <laughs> yeah, that him embracing bro. his culture? Like, bro, he was like, damn, that ass stupid. I was like, no, <laughs> dude. Bro, that's Yo, but best did, line in a fucking. Did shit. you guys notice it's funny because, like, when, you know, the white side of him, like, he, he, he had a receding hairline. Yeah. So then it's like he Beijing the shit towards the end. <laughs> that shit was straight, and I was like, you noticed it. Yeah, of you noticed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. The motherfucker tapped into Beijing <laughs> and a hairbrush. <laughs> Damn, buddy. That shit looks crazy, man. And, dude, a good episode. and that's the antithesis of what happened in Virginia. He's get, he gets raised by his black dad. Exactly. Yeah. His dad's true. the blackest dude. Like. That is true. <laughs> yeah. And I thought that was a powerful part too, where it, where him just being like, uh, <laughs> fucking like his. Him coming over to his dad, like, oh, this is all racism, blah, 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 blah. And his dad being like, yeah, I understand why they said that. You know, I thought that was an interesting kind of part, too. Um, you know, a little, uh, obviously, like, a little harsh, because some, some parts of that brought me back to, you know, you know when I was growing up, and my mom probably wouldn't have said that. She probably would have been like, that's fucked up. She would have definitely wouldn't have said, wouldn't have agreed with me if I acted like him. She would have been like, it's not racism, but also, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. She wouldn't have been like, oh, you're not black enough to be my son. <laughs> <laughs> this hasn't happened to you that's enough. What, that's what the black dude was like, kind of like, like, nigga, you ain't, you're my son, but you ain't black. You know what I mean? Uh, but that's, that's fine. I just thought it was funny and just very, very real, man. Yeah. Very real. It comes up so much in uh, black oh, uh, stand-up yeah. comics because their sons are, their kids are raised rich. Yes. Yeah. 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 And they're like, oh, man, I was poor when I was a kid. It gave me character. And like, <laughs> almost like, you should deprive your children of some, <laughs> like, little- there, there's so many great comedy bits about like, oh, yes. I gotta treat my children like shit. Yes, I have yes. to, or they, or they will not develop character. Can Bro, I add to that? You gotta deprive them of a little something. Yes, a little, be I don't distant. even know what it is. Dude, let, let's, I want to add to that. Didn't you guys just see like on the shade room? They're shitting on like Bronny. LeBron yeah, James' yeah, son, yeah, because yeah, like, like yeah, like she's taking out the prom, and then you see on the comments like, oh, she's ba-, like he didn't raise him right, like he didn't raise him around around enough, like you know, like white black people and shit like that. I'm like, dog, like yeah, that's crazy, man. Just it's let. Also, it's also like fuck she all was Aryan people. though. Yeah, no, she <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two of them together look she like a fucking like, chessboard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's looking white and black. As hell. <laughs> She was. She was white as fuck. She looked like Tommy Loren. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she looked like white. a Fox News white oh, girl. Yeah. yeah. She is secret society white. Mm-hmm. Her parents were not happy about those photos. She's the type of white person that doesn't like No, he Irish. was doing that. He knew that <laughs> to his high school, that was like the hardest thing to do. Like, oh, yeah. Her parents hate me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> dog. They don't think LeBron's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're Kobe fans. Oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> Oh man. oh man But no nah, it, It's true yeah I mean that's just fucked up But then you also gotta realize I think that's a real thing Where it's like Yeah there's some black people who I think need to Also realize like Bro there's a lot of people That weren't necessarily Raised around that many Black people Like he's still in high school Give yeah. the boy some time yeah. He's just trying to Fit in And the way he's fitting in Isn't disparaging black people He's just Bro he's raised around Nothing but white people bro yeah. His dad is LeBron Going James Going back to what he said The money Going back to what Ethan said It's, it's all about the money You know what I mean James, But dog. If, 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 Le- boy, if LeBron James Wasn't LeBron James I'm pretty sure Bronny would have been You know A good You know Obviously a good Established dude But at yeah. the end of the day He yeah, would he was driving, though. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro that's what nobody's talking oh, about. Oh yeah, the fucking suit and it was nice, and the car was oh my god. Oh. Yeah, who is this white woman? That's what yeah. I want to know. <laughs> but she gets all. That's that's what's so crazy too. I always think about that. Where you know that is that is one thing that you got to be honest with though. At the same time, where it's just like yeah, there is a there is a decent chance where if he was just like a regular ass nigga who wasn't LeBron James' son, yeah. that bitch probably wouldn't be dating him. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe That's Bron- where the internet goes Bron- crazy is in those yeah. subtleties. So it's yeah. like, yeah. there's a lot of subtleties. So it's a hot oh, button shit. thing. But it's, yeah. 
Yeah. You know? It's, it's prom, though. Back off. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's prom, though. Back off, dog. He's RG3, uh, Robert Griffin. Yeah. Robert Griffin was like, come on, man. He's 17 years old. Like, yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, yeah, RG3, right, right. He was like married. Or At least he didn't prom pose. What if he had a corny one? Oh, my God. Uh, what if it was a corny one? Uh, See, at least there wasn't that. Exactly. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, guys. Can you call, any, can you call anybody else? Or? Sorry, guys. This is what happens when uh, you okay, live on the right. first floor and somebody needs to get inside the building. How about that? I would, I would love to interview her. No! <laughs> Fuck that! that. <laughs> <laughs> Just go off. Ah, man. But yeah, like, going back to, like... Uh, Bronny and shit like that. Uh, it's crazy, man. Like, people are gonna like give him shit for like the next few weeks, the next few days, and shit. That shit's gonna fucking like go over. He, his like, his father took over. much worse heat. Yes. Oh, he, well, he's back. <laughs> Bro, what the, what the I, fuck did I tell I, you, right? I, I, I was like, no matter what, if we do this fucking live stream, someone is gonna knock on that fucking window <laughs> and ask me to come in. And these people, did I swear to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I was, you know, like, even when he was, uh, uh, they. Were uh, you know reaching out? Uh, I don't know their gender, but they were wearing like leopard. I spotted. I, sp- <laughs> I spotted them so from I'm a mile away. Yeah, things are a little uh, binary, not binary. <laughs> what, if, what if he's just a pink leopard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what he identifies. That'd well, be, the, be, uh, the fucking, uh, cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was an Alice of Wonderland person right there. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, didn't see, I didn't see. Motherfucker it. came out of the darkness. <laughs> Oh, just arrive. Yo, just the window smile. creep. They wake you up like that. Like, hello. Oh, yeah. Can I get in, please? Oh, yeah. They definitely do. Nah. That's, that's a fucking problem. It's like, bro, that's, that's my problem with, like, hipsters and artists and shit. Bro, like, for people who are so sensitive, they're so fucking inconsiderate. Yeah. <laughs> every fucking second of every day. It's like the new age ones, man. I, I was born in 89, right? Bro. And, like, my era... We know what the fuck respect is. It's these 2,000 babies and everything right now. Don't give a shit. Yeah, like late 90s. Like, yo, why the fuck? You clearly see that we're doing something. And through the window, you probably see that there's a laptop there and we're recording and shit. Well, they don't. Fuck, are you knocking on my window? They don't have respect for shit because they were born during the recession. Oh. You know what I mean? (laughs) They saw nothing but their parents get get fired from jobs that they had for 20 years. And you know what I mean? Their dad lose hair. And within like two days, he has male pattern baldness. They don't believe in any of this. <laughs> so they're like, let me knock on a fucking black ass door that's trying to make some fucking money. Not even the door. The window, the window. The window. The window. Yeah, yeah, right? Even worse. Don't come knocking on my window. Yeah, what that's is this a fucking... Clarissa <laughs> explains shot. it all, you pieces of shit. Fuck you. <laughs> this isn't a fucking 90s sitcom. This right? is this is the problem with, like, gentrified Brooklyn, bro. Yeah. I miss Brooklyn yeah. when, like, Imagine if you knocked on my window, you get oh, fucked wow. up. <laughs> the fuck you doing? Do I know you? Nah, come in. <laughs> I'll beat the shit out of you. Yeah, I'll open the door. Got like, oh, by the way, uh, shout out to everybody that's on the comments. Shout out to everybody that's on Instagram and YouTube. Everybody who's watching, please subscribe, like, and everything. Thank you for supporting. By the way, I can't see the comments because I am kind of blind. But thank you, everybody, for supporting. Yeah. Listen, I've been working all day, all right? I woke up late, had to go to work. I forgot to charge my fucking uh, video camera and all that shit. So shit was crazy. So we using the fucking bullshit-ass laptop web camera. That's why it looks so fucking shitty. That's like why it looks like we're in a 1920s fucking film. Like, <laughs> like a silent right. film with colors somehow. But bear with us. You guys are beautiful. Thank you guys for Thank watching you guys. the fucking show. Appreciate your support. For real. Thank you. And possibly we might switch out the video for another video. We're shooting one right now. Uh, with a high tech iPhone 13, baby. Hey, the newest I one. I mean, you know? you know, shout outs to my girl who bought it for me. Yeah. You see? Shout out to women out here, man. It's yeah, got to be a few. Too many male podcasts are female unfriendly. It's like, that oh is, my. Yeah. So many comedians, like, really talk shit their whole lives and then realize you're 40 and when you do shows, it's going to be 90 men deep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what a realization. That's where they're getting their strength from, though. Right. You know, no, they, that's, yeah. it's weird. It is. I was even thinking about that just like as you get older, like, you know, and like even this podcast, as it gets bigger, like I think one of my intros, uh, as I, you know, as the podcast gets bigger, I think one of my intros when I get on stage, it'll be like, 
What up, everybody? I'm Phil from the False Prophets Podcast. And uh, tell all the ladies in the crowd, I'm why your boyfriend's so annoying now. Because <laughs> that's what podcasts do. Yeah. yeah. Like, so many fucking men, dude. Oh, it's like man. you get filled with like all these weird, shitty thoughts of a bunch of 40-year-old unemployed dudes. Oh, you know? Man. That's the mean, fucking shoot. best buy. Yeah. <laughs> Profession that is shooting the shit, which is like... It, it's too accessible now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I personally think the only people who should be making a living out of streaming. I would be doing this regardless. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, despite microphones, this would be my Thursday night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, the, yeah. It, the fact that there's a microphone here it means nothing to We've me. We've been drinking and, and talking about race before it was cool. Yeah, it's yeah. a fact. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> bars where it's cool and not, yeah, it's way more than not on TikTok. <laughs> No, and it's so funny because I was thinking about this last night. Like, uh, after we finished recording, the night before, I should say. Like, I went home and, you know, like, me and Phil, we spoke about this shit a while ago. We're like, man, like, like we should really record this one day. And then, you know, I listen to podcasts and we all listen to podcasts. And you always do hear that, like, one of the, like, the most prominent podcasts, the big ones out there, they're like, yo, we just, like, turn on the mic one day and yeah. this shit just popped off, you know? So, it's, you know, I appreciate the fact that, like, you know, we're able to do this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's so fucking like fluid, you know, like 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 fluid and shit. It's just like running through. You know, so so it, it's 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 kind of amazing. I want to thank you, by the way, yeah, on live yeah, that you know you nah, actually put me onto this and put me part of the team, man. I really appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, man. I mean, bro, I but that's the thing. Like, I got both of you guys because I've done single episodes with both of you, and it was fucking great. And I think you gotta find the right people because right now, like. Let's start a podcast is the new like the new yeah, version of Let's Buy a Bar. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you know how, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> this is bar talk. Out and is, be like, dude, we should fucking oh, we should fucking buy a bar. This is literally this bar is, talk. We, that's what yeah. I was like, we, like <laughs> you tried to repress ag- like male aggression. We wanted to fight in wars and you're like, yes. we gotta do something about this. Yeah. They're yeah. gonna kill each other. And so eventually it's like once you take all the physicality yeah. out of our lives, we're gonna talk all the time. And oh, the yeah. podcast is gonna happen and then we're all just gonna be You can't you know, put a uterus hat on a warrior. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep us down. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's crazy, man, because I also was thinking about this shit too. This is literally bar talk in a better you know, like like yo, the co- the bar culture is so fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. Bar culture is so fucking amazing because that's how I met this motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm going to say the story, but, you know, really short. But, you know, I wanted chicken wings one day. I love, you know. And then I go to this spot. And then I'm like, okay, supposedly they got good chicken wings. And I sit down, and this guy's doing comedy. And then, boom, next thing you know, like, three, four years later, we're, like, fucking the closest friends ever. And yeah. now we're actually eating chicken wings together. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, like, it's crazy because, like, bar culture, that's what it does. Yeah. It brings people together. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like, I meant it. I meant no, it. Yeah, alcoholism. I, I, I feel like I need to fly an alcoholism flag. Because too many people are quitting. And I'm too like, oh, you should have never done that. No. Right? Yeah. No. You're getting, like. <laughs> and the worst thing is. You're not going to have friends. No. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're going to become a really bad person. The worst you're going to become is, resentful. The worst part is, though, is that people, like. You know, it's like everybody quits drugs and alcohol. No one ever quits shut it, like talking about it. You know what I mean? No. No. S- some of them yeah. need it. Yeah. Most of them need it. Yeah, it's like, like they need uh, like shitty political stuff. Like some yes. people like have to. That's why they listen to podcasts like yeah. this yeah. one. Yeah. It's because yeah. they have no one to talk to. The only interesting ideas they can get are from people that they yeah. can research. Yes. Because you are intolerable, and I see you everywhere. <laughs> Why do you keep using my towel every day? Yeah. You have your own. No, my, dude, I my pulled out a towel. It was yellow. Yours was gray. Why are you using the yellow one? <laughs> Did I tell you to do that? This sounds personal. Let me put on Joe Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get personal, man. That's how you know you're mad after a fight. You put on Joe Rogan. I never wanted to like pick it. <laughs> Joe Rogan is the male version of Bravo. Yeah. Yes, bro. No, no, yes. No, no, no. The weed network. <laughs> oh, the old yeah. network, I just like say. No, yeah, it is. But you a bimbo, though. You a bimbo. You a male bimbo, though. You a male bimbo. Oh, shit. Yo, Rogan said, what? Oh. Yo, you a bimbo. You a bimbo. <laughs> Yo, the trying to dude, them. everything else you say, I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Oh the, the new Yo, you got nothing. You've never said an original thing in your life. 
fucking shit. Oh my god, yeah. Oh dude. man, but yeah, oh uh, shit. It is sad that ma- male consumption has become this though. Yeah. It used to be like late night t- like TV, just like well, it, I was watching like that CNN, just like history of comedy. I'm like it was so much cooler then. Bro. It's become so much more lazy, and that like lazy they is soft, not yeah. just lazy, yeah. soft. And I think the softness is what created. The laziness, because now, and I'm not, I, I'm saying this because of, you know, there were some people that I, that I hit up to do our last, uh, you know, one, and, uh, you know, there's Natasha. No, no, I didn't hit up <laughs> Natasha, but I hit, I hit up a couple, a couple different comics, and uh, there was one who at least got back to me about it. You know what I mean? But she was too busy and stuff like that, and I get that. But there was a lot of comics who felt like self-conscious because we were trying to talk about how the IRS finally showed BLMs. Like uh, tax yeah. reports and shit, mm-hmm. and we're just talking about black advocacy. It wasn't about how systemic racism is real, nothing like that. But like, bro, I was shocked by how many people like are so scared to speak up now. And it's one of those weird things where it's like, bro, comedians were built to basically say the questionable things and either be funny enough to win people over or at least have their respect. But now, so many of us just want to simply exist. Yeah. That we'll sit there and say whatever cookie cutter bullshit. It's fucking it's PC like, hey, culture, listen, bro. Listen, if it wasn't for you corny ass niggas, we wouldn't be doing this podcast. Exactly. So, it, so it's it's fucking PC people. culture. Like it destroys everything. I, I'm said. mad that like I have to fucking like, you know, I want to make a fucking funny joke. They're like, oh, well that's that was just yeah. tasteless. And like it's not- just a fucking joke. We're between, yo, dude. Okay, funny story. One day, finish. Going yeah. to like Phil's show and everything, and I go with one of the comics we go to somebody's crib and everything. Again, me oh, being yeah. a Latino, like shit. you know yeah, yeah. the way we speak. Yo, Papi, what's good? See a girl, Mama, what's good? Hey, Mommy, you good? All right, cool. Doesn't mean that I'm calling you like Hot Mama. Like you know, I'm like I'm drooling over you. Yeah, yeah. So I tell the girl, I tap her on the shoulder because she's in the way with her thunder it fucking does. thighs and shit. Like yeah. you know, this is the table. Your thighs taking up like at least sixty percent of that shit. So then I'm like, Yo, Mama, can, uh, excuse me, please, real quick. And then I, I literally just tapped her like this. <laughs> Mama, and I was like, "What?" The? And literally, I just had a gr- the greatest conversation and with this said, individual. Like, don't touch me on the shoulder. Either. And, and listen, she said, "Don't touch me on my shoulder." But it's like, I was like, "Hey, I didn't even know her name." Yeah. So I'm there for like one minute. Like my piss is at the tip, dude. Like you know when you yeah, got, yeah, you know, yeah, fellas, yeah. you know when you gotta take a piss, you fucking jump over a table at this point. Yeah. But then I'm just like, "Oh, sh- hey, hey," and she said, "I was like, Mama, excuse me, don't yeah. touch me, don't call me Mama." Yeah. I said, you okay. No, yeah, and, and somebody's, we went to like an after party in somebody's bedroom. Mind yeah. you, the girl who basically was the owner of the apartment looked at her like, bitch, are you crazy? Yeah. So I used the yeah. bathroom and I come back and I sit down. She was like, so yeah, like we were talking about. And this is and that. And I'm on my cell phone at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dead in it. I'm not talking to you. Dead you literally yeah. screamed at me like in front of everybody. So now everybody think, say, and then don't touch my shoulder. Now everybody might think I'm a fucking pedophile or some and shit. They, and this like, is why this PC it. shit is stupid, dude. And this is why they like, well, it, like, listen, it has a time and a, and a place. Like, yes, obviously, I like, agree. Because who knows? Because that that type of woman, she might have actually been through something and that I was like harmful. It. But she also has to. The PC shit goes both ways. It's like a Venn diagram. She has to also realize that you are a Latin man, and that's how you speak to people. That's how everybody speaks to people. You can be yes. eight years old. And if you're from the Dominican Republic, you calling her Poppy, you calling her Mama. That's just how shit goes. Like, yeah. so for her to take her fucking Iowa born and bred ass, you know, what I mean? <laughs> and get touched on the shoulder and be about ready to swing on a nigga like it's a source of It was just like, like you, you know. I don't know. But so, yeah, like it's going back to that. It's just that's that's the type of behavior but that's why so that many ruins people, comedy. And that's why so many people, men and women, that's why so many people are so afraid to say anything. anything. Like, bro, we were just talking about. Black Lives Matter in general. Yeah. And just general advocacy. And Didn't how we drag can do anyone. better. How we can do better. Did not drag a single person. Did not even mention uh, Pol- uh, Patrice Cullors, yeah. who is the fa- one of the founders who got us. Didn't even say her name in that episode. Yeah. But people were so afraid that we were talking about BLM that they were like, ah. And yeah. it's like, nah, man. Like, if you... Listen... If you're actually a respectable person and a, a person who treats people with dignity and respect, then you shouldn't be so afraid to speak. Why? Well, you know what I mean? Oh, if you're an actual good human being, but it's because you secretly hold some of that shit yeah. in the back of the back of your head that you're afraid that if the camera's on you, you're gonna slip up and say some weird ass shit, yeah. just like her. Yeah, I'm telling you, if other like you know Dominican or even Hispanic women would have saw her do that to you, they would have checked her. Yeah. 
because it was wrong. It was wrong. It's not wrong to tell a man yeah. boundaries about your body, but it's wrong for her to snap at you in a way that is totally ethnically insensitive. And then she wants to act, you know, in, in those type of things. It's, it's that like fragility. It's that yeah. yeah. It's that white so fragile. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's just like like come on, man. Yeah, like you you scale, you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, you can't handle confrontation. Ooh. I know a lot of people like that. Yeah. Yeah. Real white people as well. Very fragile. Like, but my family was ruthless. Like the way we talked to each other was. Off the wall, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Yo, altercation is norm. You know what yes. I mean? Yeah, that's how a lot of people handle stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah. yeah. Oh, when some people observe that, like you know, me and Natasha fight. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Sometimes it's it can get crazy, but we're just yelling. But it get real, dog. Yeah, it's we're insane. comics. Like you know, and, and yeah. it's like, oh, some comics would be like, that was unbelievable. I'm like, what are you talking about? That was that was us getting along. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, I, I get it. Like, you know, there's there's, yeah. there's probably sometimes they see that and they're just like, is something <laughs> urging you? <laughs> and it's like, no, I punched him in the face. No, 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 no. no but bro, like, it's like, people people argue and all that type of stuff and, and that's fine. Like, again, like, I come from a, you know, kind of, I guess, quote unquote, like, hard family. Like, you know, if you ever know, like, Caribbean people, they have a very, very dry sense of humor that a oh, lot of yeah. people can take as mean. It's my family. I will be honest. I will yeah. be really honest. They can take it as mean because they're very, very blunt and they're very, very dry and they like, like, making fun of people. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? They do, like, yeah. and not making fun of people, like, in the fun, like, eh, buddy. Like, yo, know, if somebody has a weird fucking leg, they're like, look at this guy's weird Yeah, leg. And, and you know what's so funny? Yeah, with Jamaican no. people, right? It's like, <laughs> they'll get nicknames like, Hey, shut leg. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I have an uncle, uncle Mashroy, right? I have an uncle Mashroy, right? And I, I thought that was his name the whole entire time. I still don't know this nigga's name. Right? <laughs> but, but I got this, you know, I, I got an uncle Mashroy. I, I think his name's Roy. And then I was like, yo, like, so why do you call him like Mashroy? And they were like, yeah, when he was like 10 or 12, he was climbing a tree and he fell out from all the way at the top. And he, you know, and uh, once he fell and hit the ground, his, his mom was like, damn, that boy mash up. <laughs> his name's Roy, that boy mash up. They call him mash Roy. Mash Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, everybody, instead of saying call, instead of saying call 911, it was like, yeah, yeah. the man mash up. Nah, not call 911. <laughs> That man is almost 90 years old. Though. God! And they still call him Mashroy, bro. And Yo, that's crazy, dude. I'd be pissed if I was that old and started a nickname for my child. I'd be pissed, bro. How many people It's Mr. Roy! Roy. <laughs> it's still my name. I shout couldn't do anything about Mashroy, it. Bro. Shout out to Uncle Mashroy, bro. Shout out yeah, to Uncle Mashroy. But that's, that's really, like, how it goes. And it's like, bro, like, my family's Jamaican and I'm from New Jersey. And it's like New Jersey people are the same way too. Where it's like they're ignorant as fuck. It's just a bunch of ignorant yeah. ass like Irish, Irish Italian fucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jersey like, Shore, man. That's all. That was an introduction to yeah. like everything Jersey. Dog, that's so my you, whole assimilation. So you got that. You got that side, the arrogant, obnoxious shit, and then you got the Jamaican shit, which is like a different breed of arrogant, obnoxious shit. And they all came <laughs> together. And I didn't realize I was mean until I met a bunch of hipster white people in Brooklyn. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, it does feel that way. I feel the same way as this other person. That yeah. like insulting is like a way of me being nice. Yes. Like yes. can I strip this away pretty quickly yeah. if I insult you? Yes, yeah, yeah. And we're you know, yeah. Now. Especially with comedy, you wouldn't believe it. It's like ah but you gotta be original. Some people yeah. make fun of too that's much. Like, I was like, should I harp on Phil's mustache? Or has seventeen people done that today and I'm at eighteenth and that's gonna but, be annoying. But even though even if it was annoying, I knew it wouldn't be like adversarial. Like I, I knew it wouldn't be like you just being like, Oh, what the fuck, you got that mustache. Whereas some people, you make a little joke about a mustache, and they, they like, you know, they they're like, a, they need a blank. I thought we were friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Like, bro, <laughs> some like teens, you know, some no, hot it's, cocoa. No, it's been and fucking me up. Yeah. And, Jesus Christ, dog! Yeah. Did y'all not get spanked? It, it's it's I, crazy. I found out. I found out. With violence and shit. I found out supposedly. <laughs> like, I, was, I found out supposedly I was mean through family. Yeah. And it was like new age cousins. Like, I'm like, hey, yeah. like, it's one of my, days. it's a younger it's cousin of mine, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of my younger cousins, I'm like, hey, man, what's up, buddy? Like, oh, and then, you know, it's funny, I rub my belly, don't and I rub his belly, then I'm like, hey, look, we look like twins. He's like, don't call me fat. That's so mean. And I'm like, 
oh, fuck, you don't get out my face. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, dude, and it's just like. Bro, dude, like, go some fucking chest here, man. Fuck you. I didn't say he was fat. I just pointed to our stomach. I think I'm fat. I don't give a fuck. You can joke about my fatness. I'm going to call one of my boys. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just said when you w- pointed to your stomach, I assumed the child was fat. Exactly. Too. <laughs> it's oh, I was like, you look like anything like you? <laughs> Literally anything I say is me. Plus they ask, bro. That's the way you raise children. That's how. It Dude, goes. I'm like, and if you're a man and father, be distant because that breeds greatness. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Just this, 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 just Yo, great fathers are gonna breed extraordinarily disappointing sons. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm 33. Like, I'm 33, and I'm, I, I can't wait to. Great man does not exist. He's Dude. Like, go do your thing. He's a ghost. Yeah. It's, like, it's like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. Yes. He's I'm, a ghost. I'm 33. I'm 33 and I can't wait till my father just walks through that door and I'm like, thank you. Yeah. You fucking dickhead. Because I am me because of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, and hey, thank you for the milk. <laughs> that's, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> and I didn't want his materials as much. come back with it? Is that what he said he was going to get? That, that was the point of the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm, I won't be successful until my father bursts into my wedding like the end of Waterboy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Also, I would let's just ask how uh, terrible must LeBron James's personality be that the fact that he still doesn't know his dad. <laughs> that <laughs> is famous and great. And, well, wasn't uh, his pops is still like meh? <laughs> 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 Same with Eminem. I'm like, are they fun to hang out with? Like, he's possibly one of the greatest lyricists ever, and his dad's like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that is hilarious. <laughs> Judge Joe Brown's on. I don't want to call my son. <laughs> I don't want to call my award-winning son. <laughs> Where do you think he is? Do you think he's in like Akron and he's just been missing LeBron for years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like this thing is in LA, living next door. <laughs> just won't send up. That's crazy, man. That's I don't know. Shout out to everybody with a bad dad. That'd just be out. Yeah, 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 if you watch Parasite with LeBron's family, it's his dad. In the yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> I haven't seen it. I gotta see it. I his, see it. his dad was the dude that came in to install cable, and he still didn't say hi. Yeah, he didn't want to lose credit. <laughs> <laughs> his dad is the landlord. God damn. <laughs> He's the super of the building. Yeah, if you find out somebody like had a good life, you're like... Ew. <laughs> if you find out somebody you looked up to yeah. like had good parents you're like Ugh, that's fucking disgusting, disgusting. <laughs> Ew. oh my god they didn't struggle fuck them <laughs> oh, man. oh man it'd be like that you know um, but yeah about CRT <laughs> yeah. Yeah. god damn this is a yeah. fire one though. This we is this is a good yeah, yeah this, this is a, a nice mess, this bro. is a nice episode. Uh yeah, yeah, but yeah, man, back to well, back to the whole uh fucking like rich wig or white wig episode, man. Yeah, I, I really did think it was powerful though. Because it does talk about like just different um how we all perceive like like uh race and stuff. And again, like being like culturally like biracial. And I think yeah. it it brought up a different type of thing that I feel like a lot of things don't. And that's why I'm kinda happy where, you know, television and uh, movies kind of are going nowadays a little bit because now that there's more diversity and stuff you're seeing these like weird little windows into people's lives that you would have never seen like these little nuances yeah that you actually it resonates with everybody but you didn't see that part of them like like 10 years ago all like something like rich wigger white wigger wouldn't have ever really come out it wouldn't be as popular and if it did it'd be like something you know that some guy printed himself yeah. and was trying to shop around or something it wouldn't be this big thing that people could see and talk about and have access to and now i think that gives birth to a lot of different shit that both like uh black people can be interested to people of uh, all minorities white people can be interested to i mean ha- again yeah. I, uh haven't people been talking about this for a long time what? i thought just like by like Can interracial say, standards yes. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's like, uh, it's, as soon as I've been hanging out with black people, mm-hmm. like, it's culturally standards are, it's like, you, they hold you to a high Stop. bar. I, I absolutely. So they almost, like, want to mentor you. It almost seems nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I wish these niggas cared about me. No, no, no. No, that is how you feel, though. No, I, I feel that way. Like, it is kind of this cool thing where you do seem to get both sides of things, and I'm, I'm sure that can give its own uh, own problems. But, but no, like, I, I, I really think, like, you know, this is kind of a new era where, again, it's like, you know, yeah, this is shit we've always talked about, but now it's kind of officially, like, out there. And now people can make more shit about it. We can really start dissecting things and really fucking having fun, man. Like, what, what do you think about people that are trying to say that we have to, like, get rid of that shit from schools? Like, you know, like... You have to like it, it's kind of it, no, uh, uh, to finish off. Why would you try to prevent but it's, knowledge from children? Thank people you. Wanna, people you. care so much about preserving the childhood. Yeah. Is that they're like, yo, give don't give kids information until they're old enough. Nah. No, give me information now. Nah. Because if you deprive kids of information, that, they feel it. They're like, oh, that's a secret. You're a bad actor, mom and dad, Bars. dumbass. Like, but it's even it's, quit trying to hide stuff from me. I feel it. It's traumatizing yes. me. And please give me knowledge. And I don't think, try to hide me from anything. I think that's the information is being hid from so much shit. It actually people don't realize that it actually traumatizes you. Being it does some things because children are a lot smarter Dude. than people know. And you feel it. They hang out with teachers yeah. every day. Yeah. They spend all day learning. And then, like, you, you, your ass just sat there all day. And now you're mad. You watch Fox News. And now you're mad. Exactly. And you're taking it out on your kid. Exactly. And that's crazy because they're and, smarter than you. But the reason you don't <laughs> You have to know. Especially. You have to know where you come from to know where you're going. Yeah. Period. Because that's you're just taking that shit away. Going back to what you said, you know. It's just like, to know where I'm coming from. It's just culture. Period. Like... You know, like, we need to teach these things because then, like, wh where does advocacy come from? You know what I mean? Yeah. Just because of, like, people learning these things, you know? Like, these young cats yeah. learning these things. So we need to keep them shits in schools. We need to, like, really, like, improve on that. And I don't know. It, it, I, I'm not saying I don't it's know why it's happening. I just know what it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a fucking sense. It's policy. It's, it's like, I mean, they have those you, uh, history books now in certain southern schools. I believe this may be, it might be Texas or Alabama that state that uh, slaves were immigrants who were paid. Tough. Fuck out <laughs> like, like, right? Shit, shit really like trying to cover up shit, like exactly. crazy. Yeah, these it's institutions just, are fucked up from the ground up. Yeah, and you have to uproot them. Bro. And we're, it's not radical. It's like, just. It's I remember sad. not to cut you, but I remember yeah. in elementary school yeah. social studies class. Literally, the textbook said that Christopher Columbus discovered America. Yeah. Then the older I got, I'm like. Fuck this motherfucker. Right. You know what I mean? Like, when you start finding out the truth, that shit is crazy. Bro, you know what's crazy? Is I remember, uh, they, yes, I was my elementary school, I saw Christopher Columbus discovered America, and then I remember I got into high school, and one of our history teachers was like, actually, it was Americo Vespucci, which is why America has the name America, because in Europe, it was actually thrown around because it was, it was synonymous with his name. He's mm. the first person to get there of European descent. Right, dude, and that dude he got in like a good amount of trouble for that, and that's hilarious because that's not even true. America does Vespucci didn't discover America, there are already people on America. Mm -hmm. So stupid, so, bro. He's so got you know, he's got a statue bigger than the Statue of Liberty in Puerto Rico. Who, what? America, Christopher, Christopher Columbus, Christopher Columbus got a gigantic statue in Puerto Rico. That's the most fucked. I was like, no way. Well, he's. I like, couldn't believe it. They, they, they don't blow that shit right. up. Right, they gotta destroy that yeah. thing. Like, like we don't want these people getting too independent and feel too strong. It's gigantic. We gotta have some really? giant bigger than the Statue of Liberty. It's That's crazy. Where, where, I where, saw that shit. Fuck me up. I was like, what? Yeah, That's cool. I thought shit. people like it's like I. I Hey, that's, that's horrible. Crazy. That's wild, dude. I didn't even know that. And I'm pretty sure Puerto, Puerto Ricans didn't build He, like, looks out over, it's, like, over a beach. Like, and I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure Puerto Ricans didn't build that shit. No. You know what I mean? No. no. They, they, no they built it. Or they at least got paid for it. You know what it. I mean? Slave shit, like it's fucked up. Yeah, I, I, it's so, that's like up. the. Made, yeah, I was like, I want to make. I went to Puerto Rico. And I, I wanted to make jokes though. about it. And that's like the biggest thing. It came. I was like, no, oh, that yeah. shit is I didn't crazy. Know that. That's crazy. That's it's crazy. like if Trey Young had a statue outside of Madison Square Garden. That's fucking wild. <laughs> that's the best yeah. I could come up with. It's <laughs> <laughs> good enough. Yeah, we've been going for that. <laughs> we're like, yo, we played really good against us. <laughs> if you just build, if somebody plays really good against you, yeah, you build a statue of them. But you know what I think it is, though, with, like, we're talking about parents lying and all that shit. shit. Yeah. Uh, you know, the big thing is, I don't think, it, uh, yes, it is political shit, but I think the main thing is pride. Because I think parents lie about a lot of things, and the main thing is that parents don't want their child to feel like their parent is full of shit. 
Which they and, usually are. And they <laughs> usually and they usually are. And that's really what it is. Because you gotta think about it. a child to a parent is the one person in the world that doesn't look at them as if they're lesser. Yeah. You know what I mean? Unless, Unless you're a dot. I mean, it's like... <laughs> people have so many weird... Unless you're a dot. I mean... <laughs> Fucking... It. Yo! <laughs> Three-pointers all night, bro. Three-pointers all night. Yeah, yeah, it's like 10 for 10 right now, bro. <laughs> Unless you're a dot. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, but the <laughs> but, it, but it's, it's true. It's like, bro, the, the, your child. That's I think that's kind of the appeal of having kids. Is your child is this one person who believes that you are the world, and that's why they try to preserve that for as long as possible. But it's really a selfish thing because it's like you know you, you suck. suck. You yeah, know you, you know suck. you suck. You know you. Which is why you and, and your kids slowly just, finding that out. That's like the ultimate punishment. And you know what's crazy is that, like, being that parent, what does that parent always say? I want that child to be better than me. I want that child to experience something better than me. But they don't. But then they they fucking love the way that you're, the the upbringing. What they they really mean is, I want that child to not know how bad I am. Yes. That's what they mean when I want to be better than They know, though. You feel it when you're six, man. (laughs) Nah, but I mean. We all know our parents' inadequacies. Yeah, but shout out to the parents that actually tried. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know what I mean? Definitely. Definitely, man. Like, There's plenty out there that yeah, you know, yeah. pulled like a fucking you know, New York marathon of reasons. Yeah, yeah. Out. Oh, man. My so mom, dude, my, my father. Easy, baby. Best father in the world. Yeah, just said his, 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 his He just took his kids to school. I wish he had our camera. His shirt says Yeezy for president. He's him and LeBron, people give him them yeah. shit for not being so like dumb. culturally cool, but it's like, yo, they're dads. Like, yeah. like, relax on them. Like, Yeezy's the type of dad that would dress up like Superman. Yeah, you know, little Boosie is yeah, the best he's father. He's you ever seen little Boosie and his kids? Boosie's the dopest Boosie father, bro. Yeah. Shout out to Boosie. Shout out to Boosie, man. Sorry, all those Jamaican men were hitting on your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I know they were aggressive, but she, <laughs> she had a good night. She paid for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. What you want me to do, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. All right, let's think about it. Is there anything else we can Anything else we can say? Any more uh, topics coming up? I think we need to make this a murder crime podcast on who killed... Uh, do we know his name? I guess they didn't really release it because he's underage. Who? Oh. The Virginia mom's son. Oh, he killed... Wait, he got wait, killed? What? what? What happened? Who killed his father? Oh, oh, oh but his, call, his dad is alive, though. Wait, is he? His dad is alive? No, Virginia mom's son. Yeah. Yes. His yeah. dad has passed away, right? His dad, his dad passed away. Yeah, yeah. So he's living in a Atlanta horror situation where he's living with... But no, I'm, 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 she, she lives in Charlottesville. She did. So we need to make this a murder crime <laughs> oh, murder crime shit. podcast where we, invest, where, where we investigate who killed his dad. So, so, well, are we, are we like the Scooby-Doo gang right now? Because I have a feeling his father was Clayton Bigsby. <laughs> and he killed himself because his wife was a nigger lover. Oh! <laughs> <Sing>. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. That has been the False Promise podcast. That's, what a that's, great way to end this. Let's yeah. conclude ourselves. Cause let's conclude our own selves because Phil doesn't know how to present who oh, we right, are. Right. You didn't even introduce us, man. He doesn't even say that I'm like the new addition to this shit. Hi, everybody. I got friends. You act like you have other people to talk to. <laughs> this is how you do it. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, everybody, for joining the podcast. Thank you for joining the live. Thank you for joining everybody. This is Phil Risen. This is Manny Perez. And this is Ethan Hawk. I'm learning about the last name. This is the False Prophets Podcast. Two cocks in his mouth. Okay. All right. So Love you guys. guys. Uh, thank, you, thank you for watching uh, False Prophets. Uh, this has been a good time. Remember, we are comics. We talk about big things and little things. We always try to go for the joke. And uh, you may follow us, but uh, oh, clubs, if yeah. you follow us, we may not lead you. He's anywhere. coming back in the shot because he left too early. No, oh, no, no. What are you trying <laughs> to do? Sorry. No, I just want to. Hey, can you plug in anything? Any, any shows you're doing this week or this weekend uh, or something? Uh, that's actually really thoughtful of you. A uh, guy who tried to shove two cocks in my mouth. <laughs> he knows uh, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's uh, watching this and you're watching it recently, uh, this Sunday I got a show at Solas Bar in the East Village. On uh, Ninth Street, what time? Uh, please come by uh, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Sunday. I have another show called Top Notch Comedy. 
uh, at uh, Gypsy Rose on uh, 125 26th Street in, uh, in, in Chelsea, New York. Basically cool. Midtown. Hey. In between uh, 6th Avenue and 7th Avenue. So come out. All come right. Out show. Social medias? Twitter? Social medias. Uh, you can reach me at, at Phil Risden. You can also do, uh, please follow the podcast as well, too. Yes. Which is False Prophets Pod. False Prophets Pod. And uh, maybe a little bit of Grove Street Comedy. That's my, uh, that's, that's my uh, you know, company. So, Grove Street Comedy and Instagram, too. So, uh, so yeah, of- everybody. Uh, my name is Manny Perez. I am not a comic, but I'm an Uber driver. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll probably pick you up and just remember the face. Um, yeah. Social media is man underscore ee seven. At Instagram, uh, that's all I have for now. But join uh, False Prophets Pod. And you Ethan? know what? I am gonna, you know, he says he's not a comic. I'm gonna shoehorn him in. You know, he might be terrible. He's helping but, me. <laughs> but no matter what, even if he's terrible, we're gonna put him in. He's gonna be my Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> oh my god, so dude! Shit. What do you mean? Don't create a demon, man. Fuck Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Just awful dog shit comedian. How did just like bitter, yeah, hateful motherfuckers just make it? You know what I, I mean? Know. Just like, how did a goblin get all the way through? Well, I think it might be skin tone, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> you, hate you hate to see it, Bob. <laughs> Nothing makes me sicker than white mediocrity. You are a white guy who's really fucking funny. So. Uh, I, like, yeah, I do the be- I do the best I can. Let them know where they can find you. Uh, this weekend I'm going to Pensacola, Florida. Hey. Yeah. A P3 Comedy Festival run by Andrew Ferrara. Uh, I'm hey. going there with my muse, my flame, Natasha Ferrier. Thank you. Claps up for Natasha. She'll watch this. Um, She uh, should have been me. Uh, (laughs) I should not have been booked on this podcast, but goddamn, if I don't drink more whiskey than her. Um, She actually drinks more whiskey than me. I can't wait till this podcast blows up and then she gets so resentful that she slowly starts poisoning you over time. That would be fun. Yeah. A little bit of rat poison in the eggs. Oh, yeah. He's been in the <laughs> He's fine though. He <laughs> should replace me on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, you can follow me, uh, just Ethan McFall, all the way through on the gram. Perfect. That's the only place where I really post shows, and I got my name, my whole name. Hell yeah! Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's beautiful. No that underscores. Nice? I like Hawk more. I do. When you said Ethan Hawk, <laughs> bruh. When you said Ethan Hawk, that. Oh, nice. cop. Dude, he's my dad. <laughs> he's my dad. He's my dad. God damn, this is the Guinness Book World Records for longest Fuck. podcast outro ever. Yeah. Yes. Please? Yeah. All right, that's where to follow me, man. All right. Thanks for Phil for having me over. Peace. Peace out.